Dolce & Cabana's The One, Royal Knight. Here I have a sample, and I have tried this with my friends, so let's see how this one smells like. But before that, here are a few things that you should know before committing to that full bottle. First one, this was originally a Middle East and UK exclusive. But right now, online, some bottles are trickling down here in Southeast Asia and some folks can get their hands already on this one. Next thing you should know, what does this one smell like? At the top, you would be surprised with a fake wood cord here, which is not present in the EDP and the EDT. Now, along with that woodish accord, we're greeted with this uh, strong citrus, I think it's the blood orange type. It's kind of thick, kind of syrupy, sweet orange. Now in the mid notes, you would immediately get this lifelike cardamom. Now the blood orange at the top is now joined with this sweetish amber which makes this composition a little thicker, a little denser, a little syrupy if you ask me, a little sweet, sweeter than the EDP and the EDT. And at the background, we have this background of woods. Now going into the base, the cardamom dies down. We're left with this amber, kind of vanillic amber, kind of dried fruity sweet amber. And the woods at the background, that's what we're left with maybe after two hours or an hour and a half. Now is it worth having this if you have both the EDP and the EDT? We'll be answering that later. Now for the price. I've searched eBay and other online selling sites. And I've seen that they're selling this at around $90, uh, $95, $200. Even our local site which carries this bottle, but well, still around $100. Is it worth the price? Price to value ratio, it's coming up later. Now for the uniqueness of this scent, is it unique? Yes, I don't have any other scents in mind that resembles like this, except for the EDP and the original, the one EDT. So for the uniqueness, it gets good points. Now, for versatility, this one, it's, it's a denser take, it's a thicker take, and a sweeter take on the Eau de Parfum version. Now, I think this could perfectly work on date nights, any, any occasion during the night time, but not for the daytime. Now, for the longevity, on average, I'm getting 6 hours, it pushes into the 7 hour mark at times. And I think this one is an improvement with regards to the longevity of the Eau de Parfum. So this one, yeah, it does work on my skin. I get 6-7 hours off of this. Now for the Siange and the Projection, just like the original EDT and the EDP, this one is not a beast. It does not project at a distance. Yeah, it does project on an average. Your date can smell you, your office mates could smell you relatives can smell you but it's not a power projector it's on average now is it worth its price tag hundred dollars for a bottle of this hundred mil auto parfum i'd say it's not if it's around 60 to 70 dollars then i'd say it's a steal but if it's on the sub 100 dollars let's say 110 dollars 90 dollars 95 dollars I don't think it's worth the juice. There's a lot of niche fragrances and other better designer fragrances that functions as well as this or maybe better than this that you could get for $90, $95. So I suggest you get this one if it's just on the $60 to $70 price range. Now for my recommendation, should I recommend this to you or not? First, let's talk about is it redundant to have this one in your collection, if you already have the Eau de Parfum and the Eau de Toilette. If you really like the one, the one's DNA, I'd say skip the Eau de Parfum, even sell your EDT and just have this one if you have access to this and just stock up on these. Now if this one isn't available in your country, I'd say just stick with the Eau de Parfum, you're not missing, you're not missing on much with this one. This is just this soft fake oud accord is the opening and then basically dries down to the one or the parfum so not recommending this it's it's not worth the hassle of finding this one and those are just my recommendations opinions and suggestions at the end of the day you do you please stay tuned until the end of this video see the next perfume that we're gonna be covering
Until then, thank you.